The Death vs. Heard case is long over, Aquaman 2 came and went, it flopped, it failed, whatever you want to say. But, on X and social media, there's still things going on between the fan bases. This here's from that Umbrella guy, he got an email for an invite on a podcast who's actually going to make some kind of special about how Amber Heard got trolled. But they asked Tug to answer some questions, and it was pretty ridiculous actually what they asked him. So he says, what the F this clown emails to over Johnny Depp or Samba Heard? After I said I'm not interested, they even note that FFS. I mean, social media trolling on the administration of justice. You can smell the desperation for applause from places like The Guardian on their Twitter too. Right, so basically, pro-Amber things don't get very big. I mean, the whole thing isn't big anymore, but even when it was big, they weren't getting traction and views and things like that. Just a little bit. However, what they did get was attention from some of the media, like Rolling Stone, Variety, and The Guardian, and things like that, which might be the goal of this person. Because they must know, views aren't going to be great over pro-Amber stuff no matter what. So, let's see about it. Dear Mr. Tug, I hope this email finds you well. My name's Alexi Mostris, and I'm the investigations editor at Tortoise Media in London, and of course, you know, pretty much a no-name. Well, not pretty much, let's just say a no-name. We are preparing to publish a multi-part podcast looking at the Depp vs. Heard trial with a particular focus on whether Ms. Heard was subjected to a coordinated and authentic attack on social media, which they've got their mind made up, I think, and they think she did. Here's what it was. Probably about 80% of the people looked at the evidence, and were like, you know what, John didn't do this. Then about 15%, including the media, smeared Johnny and took Amber's side for political reasons just because they were on that side of the aisle. He got about 4% who was kind of like, I'm not sure, I'm just watching, it's entertainment. Then 1% of actual trolls. That's my ballpark breakdown. Yes, there were some trolls. Yes, some people jumping on just for views and things like that. But they were the outskirts. And these people think they were like the core of it. The core of it was Johnny fans and DV victims. That was the core. Like I said, 80% maybe. And it continues. The case involves significant public interest questions including the ease by which online disinformation campaigns can be mounted and the effects of social media trolling on the administration of justice. I understand you don't want to do an interview, but I still want to give you the chance to respond. Can you please answer these questions slash allegations by 6 p.m. on February 15, 2024, and we will include the substance of your response in our reporting. Of course, like they weren't going to cherry pick it, maybe even edit it, say something Tug didn't say, or something to that extent. And here's the rest Tug posted. We note that Adam Walbin admitted to having contact with you and that you have described him as a source. How did you come to have contact with Mr. Waldman? Did you receive any form of payment from Mr. Waldman and or Depp's team? Like Tug's just going to answer that. We note you have made a substantial amount of money covering Ms. Heard and Mr. Depp through YouTube advertising, tips from supporters, and the sale of merchandise. How much money would you estimate you have made from your YouTube channel since beginning to post about Miss Heard and Mr. Depp? Again, like Tug's just going to share that. I've told my father, my wife, some close friends I've known for decades. But I don't just like shoot it out there. Like I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. And especially not an opponent of mine on the other side of the aisle. Do you accept that you were given leaked information by Mr. Waldman? This includes emails between Mr. Wallman and Twitter after his account was removed from the site. A declaration from Vince Joviet, a deposition from Eric George, a channel exclusive that amounted a picture of a cracked remote control that you allege was used by Miss Heard to hit Mr. Depp, which, you know, probably was. Do you regret any comments you have made about Miss Heard in the past? These include Amber, your lips are gross. I can't recall Tug saying that. I haven't seen every video, of course. But, all right, not much to regret, even if he did say it. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. If so, that's his opinion. And the real Lord B got also contacted by this person. I was just telling Tug I was also contacted. 
never heard of them, and was dealing with day-to-day new baby updates and sick households, including me. So just ignore him. Never responded in any way. Asked about my contacts with Adam and noticed a falling out among Depp supporters recently. Not sure what that means exactly. Obviously, things have cooled down. Obviously, it had its peak with the court case quite a while ago. And we find out that this is called Who Trolled Amber? Like I said, seems like they've got their mind made up that somebody did. And I said, yeah, somebody did. About 1% of the Johnny fan base. The fringe amount, of course. Some of them were out there. So, Tug says, so that Johnny Depp Adam Woman interview is for Who Trolled Amber Heard. They bragged to the media about the name and intent, but didn't bother to disclose any of this when reaching out to various people. When I say I do not trust any of these effers, you see why, laugh out loud. And yes, I see why, I know, I wouldn't trust them either. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Of course, check out that Umbrella Guy, pretty easy handle on Twitter, at that Umbrella Guy. He's got a channel too, I'm sure most of you know. I will follow up on this pretty soon. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.